Hi everybody. Today we will see how to use the sweep tool from TurboCAD. But this tool will make uh, a molding uh, representing by the blue uh, the blue part here. And uh, this molding will follow the shape of this 3D part like this. Okay, let's begin. If you want to follow this video tutorial, you can download uh, my file, the TurboCAD file, uh, with the link located below this video, just below. Okay, to do this, I make uh, a profile, the top profile, right here with the line tool and the spline tool and I joined them with the, the join polyline tool from Tobocad and after that I made a copy of the side of this 3D part and the front of this 3D part uh, representing by the red, uh, the red object right there to, uh, I did a joint polyline uh, to um, to make them together. Okay. After that, as I say, I uh, I did a polyline with the profile of my 3D part, and I use the simple extrude tool to make a, to give a thickness of 3d shape of this 3d shape okay as you can see it is really important to place all object including the top of the the 3d shape on the same working plane okay zoom window like this okay now we will select this part be sure the origin point is at this end of the this object and make sure your snap mode selected are vertex and intersection now click on the yellow dot and place it on the top of the 3d shape bottom left right here like that okay now we want to do uh, a 3d shape uh, a 3d part with this molding form but first we have to put this this object and this this shape perpendicular to this side of the 3d part to do this select the 2d shape of the molding be sure the origin uh, the origin dot is placed uh, at the top left of this object Selecting, selecting it by a click on the yellow dot and place it on the top left uh, corner of the 3D part, like this. Okay, now the object is still on the same work plane of the top of this 3D part. We want to have this part perpendicular to this side of the 3d part to do this I'll zoom window zoom window yeah, right there okay to do this we will rotate it first uh, not this one sorry We'll use the Z axis to make a rotation on Y axis. Um, not really. Tab till rotation Y. 
and enter 90 as a value press enter now our object our uh, 2d shape of the molding is parallel to this side but we want it perpendicular to this side uh, with this rotation uh, X okay now tab till rotation Y and enter zero value press enter now our piece uh, our 2d shape of the molding is perpendicular to this side of the 3d shape the 3d part okay now we will we will do the molding the 3d molding sends this to the object to do this um, select the sweep tool from this toolbox in this toolbox you retrieve a simple extrude tool rail sweep but for us it's going to be the sweep tool we will use sweep tool okay be sure this icon is on use compound profile is on and the rigid sweep tool is off it's really important okay now select the to the the mold the molding to the shape first and after select the path profile of uh, our 3d shape we did before uh, not this one but uh, be sure to use the the path of our molding the red the red path we uh, we saw uh, before okay now right click uh, anywhere in the drawing area and select finish selection of path to see the final result uh, select the quality rendering mode quality rendering scene uh, okay okay as you can see the the shape of our basic 2d uh, molding shape had been uh, respected all the way on the 3d object tool voila thanks for watching and uh, if you like this uh, video tutorial uh, press the plus one button in the YouTube uh, window. Have a great day.